Stephen, the shot spotter program could expand here at the Kansas City Police Department next year, and it's all dependent upon grant money stemming from a proposed bus line expansion project. Here three, get ready to turn four this month. It's every day. The Wren family out. Today is actually a quiet day. On a quiet day. By now we would have been and heard I don't know how many shots. Da -da 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 -da. Linda Wren is frustrated by the violence. I mean some days and you just hear da -da 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 and and then you'll hear sometimes return fire. The gunshots inching closer and closer to home. The ones that we had around here that was bouncing off the power lines and stuff that day, that was and it's bad. When the Truce Max line expanded, KCPD received money to install shot spotter sensors to detect gunfire in high crime areas. What we know is in, uh, in our city, we know that about 30% of the time somebody calls 911 to report outdoor gunfire. In this area where we have this, we have nearly 100% of the time do we get the gunfire reported. Through the $54 million Prospect Max proposed expansion, shot spotter could also grow. I mean, there's no age limit. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're at. It's everywhere. Wren, desperate for guns. And it shouldn't be like this. To leave her neighborhood. It really shouldn't be like this. If funded, we won't know where those new detectors will go. Police usually tight-lipped about that to keep that information away from criminals. Haley? Although police have the shot spotter, they're still trying to urge you to call police and report it anytime you hear gunfire.